Welcome everybody to Louisville, Kentucky. You're watching the ACC on ESPN. Man, do we have a good one for you tonight. Two of the top three scores in the ACC lead two of the top three teams in the country. A phenomenal guard matchup. Two unbeaten teams in conference play. Number two, Notre Dame, taking on number three, Louisville. With that, we welcome you courtside at the KFC Yum Center. Adam Amin, Kara Lawson, Rebecca Lobo. Our road to the women's Final Four gets back going on Thursday nights these next few weeks. And we start with a banger. What a guard matchup we have tonight. And for Notre Dame, that's Enrique Gumbawale. She leads the ACC in scoring right now, over 20 points a game. Big, strong frame for a guard. She is relentless in her attack on the offensive end, whether it's transition or half court. The individual brilliance of both of these guards pops off the screen. And when you talk about Asia and the Louisville Cardinals and what Jeff Walls does is putting her in multiple actions back to back. Here's a pin down screen as a defender. You have to choose. Are you going to chase it or are you going to shoot the gap? Also, when they're doing it back to back, there's a switch by the Kentucky defender and a flare screen. Again, do you go over or do you go under? Kentucky defender chooses to go under and Asia Durr gets a wide open look at a three. Again, multiple actions back to back. Dribble handoff right into a ball screen. Do you go over or do you go under all Asia Durr needs is just a sliver of space. You give a, a score like this a sliver of a, a space, she makes you pay every single time. Asia Durr coming off another excellent performance 21 points the other night in a victory over Virginia Tech. 30 times in her career, she's had 20 plus points in a game for Jeff Walls. One of four unbeaten teams in college basketball. Jeff Walls is the head coach of one of them. Another is in action tonight, by the way. The Tennessee Lady Vols are squaring off with Texas A&M in a couple of hours. Meanwhile, there's the Hall of Famer, Muffet McGraw. Her team has played the toughest schedule in the country. They have seven scholarship players tonight. That is it. A myriad of injuries for Muffet McGraw's Notre Dame Fighting Irish this year. Yet here they are at 15 and one, coming into a hostile environment in Louisville. Top five matchup on a Thursday night. Let's get after it. And Jackie Young wins the tip for the Irish. There's Jessica Shepard, the transfer from Nebraska. And it's Marina Mabry who's been running the point in the second half of the schedule thus far. Quick trigger for Mabry. You can't have your hands down. I mean, against Mabry, you can't have your hands down from beyond the arc and, and expect her not to shoot it. Nice aggressive shot there early on for Marina. See Notre Dame starting out in his own defense. Since Lily Thompson's injury, Notre Dame has not played a single possession of man to man. Maisha Hines Allen is the second leading scorer for the Cardinals. She gets Louisville on the board. Post up with Shepard. Good kick out that time for West Bell. Yeah, that's a really good kick out. I mean, the press defender off of West Bell, and West Bell caught it clean that time. First possession, she didn't catch it clean and let it fly. Well, they left Asia Durr open, and she made him pay. Exactly what both of you were talking about in the first couple of minutes of this game. Something that Muffet McGraw was talking to our team about this morning in shoot around. You have to be aware of where Durr is on the floor. All right, that was an aggressive take by Ogunbowale. Sam Furing is excellent taking charges, but she gets tagged. Well, this is exactly what you, you, you expect from Arike, is to attack, to utilize her strength and her ability to ISO to make a play. And that's one of the things that she does best for this Notre Dame team offensively. 
restricted area, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And but just for heel. Mm -hmm. Fury's heel was barely on it, but the official pointed immediately to the, to the restricted area. Good call. The rebound by Heinz Allen, the leading rebounder in the ACC. Buring got the space for the two. These are the top two scoring teams in the ACC. Two of the best shooting teams in the ACC with two of the best scorers in the ACC squaring off tonight. Good denial underneath by Hines Allen. Pull up three, Durr. I get the feeling this may be a good one tonight. You know this. She's a good one. <laughs> good two-player game that time. Mabry sets it up for Shepard. Jessica Shepard is really good in the two-person game because she is quick to the roll. She knows when to slip the screen, and she catches anything that's thrown in her direction. Jasmine Jones had the space. Heinz Allen with the offensive rebound. Well, this is a challenge, and this is where Louisville can, can perhaps create some separation as being aggressive on the offensive glass. Notre Dame, we talked about all their injuries. They don't have depth. Their players don't want to foul if they don't have to. So be aggressive, try and create contact, and they might back down a little bit just because they don't want to pick up early fouls. Mabry was well defended by Erica Carter there. And now Carter back the other way. Another rebound for Myesha Hightower. And to your point, Kara, on that board, Notre Dame players straight up. They're not jumping. They're not trying to block or get deflections. They're just trying to stay out of foul trouble. Notre Dame averages the fewest fouls per game in the ACC at 14 per game. It's a product of a couple of things. One, defense, and two, more importantly, as you guys have talked about, the current lack of depth for Muffet McGraw's team. Mabry off the screen. She missed Shepard. Yeah, she had yeah, yeah. Drop pass. Durr again. Good again. What a start for Asia Durr. A red hot start for a red hot team. Louisville up eight. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Notre Dame down to just seven scholarship players with the myriad of ACL injuries going all the way back to the second round of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, Brianna Turner, a stud for them a year ago, got hurt in the tournament. Lily Thompson, the most recent injury. And when Mark McGraw looks down the bench, two scholarship players, neither of them guards. They have no depth at the guard position. That's part of the reason Marina Mabry has really stepped in to the main point guard role over the second half of the season. West Bell can't connect. Durr loose. Oh, feeling the juice tonight. Already in the double figures. I didn't think I'd have to pull this out to the fourth quarter, but that's dirty, guys. That's dirty. <laughs> and a steal out high by Jasmine Jones, an excellent on-ball defender. Notre Dame and junk right now. It looks like a triangle in two. Doesn't 
I like that from Jackie Young. They needed a little bit of a spark. That shoulder may have been a foul, but either way, it's a much-needed Notre Dame bucket. Well, both of their wings are rugged. Agumba Wale and Jackie Young and play a physical brand, and that's what they need to do is attack on the offensive end. Carter knocks down the three. Ten of twelve are the Cardinals from the floor. Tough step back by Mabry. Fury. And 30. Uh, an early onslaught offensively led by your All-American and Asia Dirk. And you look at her numbers and knocking down three-point shots, she's been able to get some clean looks at the basket, and you're not close enough. Like, run her off the line. If you think you're close, you're not close enough because she has made a living this season out of making contested shots, makes some of the toughest shots in the country look easy. A 16-2 run for Louisville, sparked by Asia Durr. And a foul called on Shepard. I mean, this is not anything surprising from Louisville and specifically from Asia Dirt. And so with Notre Dame not close enough, the last few possessions, they've got Jackie Young right on her, now trying to prevent her from even getting a touch because when she touches it, it's been money. Rebecca, Notre Dame has had to switch defenses a lot over the course of these last several games because of that lack of depth. They hadn't played a whole lot of zone up until the last few games when Thompson got hurt. And they've been playing exclusively zone. We've seen some drunk defenses, last possession there man to man. I love Jasmine Jones' movement off the basketball, too. Uh, they're, they're not worried about guarding her as much as they are some of the other players, and she's done a good job. Asia Durr with her first miss of the night. That's what Notre Dame needs. Arike Ogumbawale, the leading scorer in the ACC, trying to get going. Fury. That's five foot eight, Erica Carter, skying for that rebound. Looks like you out there, Adam. Uh, I mean, that's that's a lie. She's taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> what a move by Maisha Hines Allen at six two, showing off the skill. This is a couple of haymakers to start the night from the Louisville offense. Mabry, man, they need it, and they got it from Marina Mabry. Yeah, that's a challenge for Marina Mabry is when you shift from that two-guard position to that one yep. position, and you spend so much energy, expend so much energy getting the ball into scoring territory, starting the offense, that a lot of times you lose energy to create your own shot. She's got her work cut out for her now with Notre Dame down 14. Heinz Allen, not a three-point shooter typically, and now she knocks one down. A 17-point Louisville lead, their largest of this opening quarter. Good patience by Shepard. Heinz Allen had the block. Substitutions on both sides, and how deep will Muffet McGraw be able to go into that bench will be a question. Kylie Shook comes in for Heinz Allen, who gets a great ovation from this home crowd. 
Ogunbowale was well defended that time by Sidney Zambrata. I believe that might be a travel. It was. Jeff Wallace told us that when Notre Dame brought Nelson in, he was going to bring Kylie Shook in because he believes she can help extend the defense. The supporting cast for Louisville has been very good since the attention has switched to Dirk. Nelson is the only other bench player available for Notre Dame tonight. The six foot four grad, uh, grad student, rather, not transfer, 50 year player for the Irish. Yeah, I might just give the ball to Enrique and let her ISO. Yeah. I'm going to space it out here with Zambrana guarding yep. her. <laughs> Offensive foul thrown by Zambrana. What a job at the end of this opening quarter. Yeah, tough play. I mean, this is an excellent defensive play by Zembrada because on paper you'd say that's advantage of Goombawale but she stays in front takes the contact and is able to draw draw the offensive foul way to stand up there Sydney she may have been the only one in this arena who thought that she was gonna get that <laughs> stop her and her parents Evans unable to beat the buzzer what a start for Louisville Asia Durr led the charge with 11 33 to 16 Ranked teams going on the road in conference play on Saturday. Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. Kentucky just slipped by Texas A&M on Tuesday night. They'll head to Nashville to take on Vandy. North Carolina did bounce back with a win over BC after losing two straight. They'll go on the road to take on the Irish from South Bend. Speaking of the Irish, this is somewhat familiar territory for Muffet McGraw this season. Three comebacks of double digits this season. All of those were first half deficits against those three very good teams, including the defending national champion, South Carolina Gamecocks. First foul of the night on Jackie Young. Uh, I mean, it looks like she got her on the hand. Yeah, you know how I feel about those fouls. I think they're almost always right. <laughs> You know, if you're sitting on the Notre Dame bench right now, you're thinking, yeah. Louisville's got to cool down. They've got to cool down. They shoot 74% in the first quarter. And when they do cool down, we're going to have a chance to get out and run. That's where Notre Dame can really excel, pushing the ball down the floor. I think they only had that one opportunity by Agumba Wale to yep. get out and transition. So that's what they've got to do, get some stops, push the pace the other way, and see if they can get back into this game. Dana Evans. True freshman, excellent defender, guarding Mabry. Ogumbawale was guarded by Zambrata, and that's a great effort by Jackie Young for her second bucket of the night. I was waiting for the fourth quarter to bust out Zambrata, defensive stopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stopper, like, I, yes. no, I, I, I like that. <laughs> Rebecca, Laws, uh, Rebecca Lobo is all about rhythm and cadence. There you go. I love that. I love that about this crew. Give me a sense of what you want to see offensively in these half-court sets from the Fighting Irish, because right now nothing seems to be working. Yeah, so remember the point I made about expending so much energy by Mabry to get the ball into scoring territory? Yeah. And so when Dana Evans picks you, picks you up full court, yep. and you're worried about getting it across, and then you're having to look and see, are we in the right set? Is everyone in the right place? Then you're trying to diagnose the play, and you make an errant pass, because there's so many decisions that are going through your mind as a point guard, and the pressure adds to that. The pressure adds to that and so in that possession right there you see the pressure of Evans just affecting the decision making of Mayrie and that's something that she talked to us about earlier today Rebecca she said you know just it's been a roller coaster for her to get used to this point guard position and she said one of the things she'll look over at Muffet McGraw and say what do you want to run and Muffet says to her no what do you want to yeah. run you are the point guard take charge what do you see what can we do to be effective remember this was a team that was led by Lindsay Allen and that made so many decisions that she took that off of the plate of a lot of her teammates because she was so good as a four-year starter at point guard at playing the position and at making the decisions. And, and now it falls to someone else, and, and uh, it, it's, it's a challenge. To give her a break, let her bring break. up the floor. Yep. The young taking it herself inside. Good steal by Mabry. 
Gaethje got rejected by Shook. What a recovery by Kylie Shook. Well, this is Mabry just challenging a much bigger defender who no uses her size well. And it's a nice play by Shook to recover that after the turnover. Leading shot blocker for the Cardinals. And she comes in off the bench. So a really good defensive punch for Louisville. Evans running the point. Tough step back by Hines Allen. You can see what Carol was talking about in our open with Asia Durr. So many different ways and so many different schemes that Jeff Walls runs to try to get her space with the basketball. And even if she doesn't get the shot, maybe two defenders run to her, to her because they're overreacting to her skill set coming off the screen and now someone else gets a cut or someone else gets a layup. So her presence really, really helps her teammates on the floor. Right now, Notre Dame really trying to post up their guards, especially Agum Bawale. They haven't been effective yet doing it, but they get the foul there. Agum Bawale, so big and strong, a frame for a guard, trying to get in there and get Zambrata on her back. And everybody's lifted. Everybody's lifted to, to make sure that Zambrata's on the island. See, what does Jeff Walls do? He subs in Jasmine Jones. A little bit of a better matchup for Louisville. Good second effort. Underneath by Danielle Patterson, a true freshman out of Brooklyn. <laughs> Bounce underneath for Hines Allen. Well set up by Erica Carter. And a good look. Dur is on the bench, so who are you going to look to? Is Maisha Hines Allen inside? Evans is just making it impossible for Mabry right now. The pressure, and this is what the freshman brings off the bench. It's frustrating, and there was not a pass on that possession. That was a zero pass possession for Notre Dame. They're having trouble even entering it into their offense. And I know you talked about the start of this quarter, Rebecca, about how well Louisville was shooting. And, and I'll give them that in the first quarter, but some of this is just bad Notre Dame defense. Some of this is just Louisville getting to where they want to on the floor and being unchallenged. Carter tried to slip it to a cutting Jones that time. And Mucka McGraw would agree. She said, we, you know, we're not a great defensive team. We're not a very good man-to-man -man defensive team. And then juggling their defenses because of the injuries has compounded that issue. Get it into Shepard. Good look, deep catch that time. And Louisville's defense has been pretty darn good, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Agumbawale picked up by Jasmine Jones. Leading score in the ACC has just three points so far. Sought that pass from Shepard to get it to Young. Timeout used here. A 14 point game, six and a half for the first half. Coming up on the Alfa Romeo halftime report, Maria, Nell, and Andy, we will talk this game, but also giving out the finalists for the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Coach, what would you do if you're Notre Dame right now? Well, I'd want the, the ball out of my point guard's hand because I don't really have a point guard. What does that mean? Get, get your entry passes, those initial cutters. You have to get those people open, maybe even the post. Well, Louisville, keep the ball in Asia Durr's hands and let her keep feeding Maisha Allen Hines. That's pretty, been pretty effective. All right, we'll get you caught up on Tennessee taking on Texas A&M, too, in that top 15 matchup. Join us at half, Adam. You know, Maria Nell made a great point. 26 points combined between Durr and Heinz Allen thus far. That's certainly a big storyline for Louisville, which had a red-hot opening quarter. And Asia Durr is as much of a smart plug as anybody. It's Coach Lander's point. Marina Mabry on the bench now because she yep. picked up two fouls. I thought that second one wasn't an offensive foul that they called, but now Goombawale running the point position.
Shot clock down to four. Westbell. Excellent defense by Louisville. Yeah, I'm not sure why Westbell came in. Maybe she thought she had an opportunity to cut each side, but if she would have stayed spaced out, she's already hit a three in the game. That skip pass now forces a longer closeout, and maybe you have a little bit more out of it. Guys, that's eight turnovers now for Notre Dame in this first half. Action after action to get Durr an open look. Haven't seen a lot of this tonight. Numbers for the Irish, and Jackie Young finishes. They got the stop. They finished it off with a board and got out in transition. They're going to need more of that. We know the Irish are a good offensive team, but it feels like, to Rebecca's point, they're going to have to come back in this game on the defensive end of the floor, not really doing it consistently right now. That was a straight dime from Fury. I mean, what a pass that was. All, all Hines Allen had to do was, was lay it up. Post to post pass, Kara. We love it. <laughs> all right, moving on. We're at the other end of the court now. I was going to say. <laughs> moving on. And what did it take? Uh, what's the over-under late second quarter before we got our first post to post in there? <laughs> Well, Durr wasn't even looking at Jones, and Jones finished off the play at the rim. What an athletic play. You're in the air, you see the defender coming under you, and you're still able to finish with the concentration right there. You know the landing's not going to be easy and still finishes for the and one. You know, sometimes the quickness they take off before you think they're going to. I think Westbell thought she was going to have maybe a beat or two longer to set up for that charge. And Jones's explosiveness kind of changed, changed the dynamic on that and caught the uh, defensive foul. Jones, the first year starter. Sophomore out of Tallahassee has set it in the lead is as large as it has been tonight at 19. Great feed from Young to West Bell. Notre Dame finding some openings uh, in this Louisville defense. You look at Westbelt. Uh, nice pass. Good pace and good accuracy by Jackie Young on that pass. She's a guard. Guard to post. Guard to post. <laughs> Nelson came over to take the charge. That's good defense by the Georgia native. So much juice in the Yum Center. I like it. It's a good crowd so far. Yeah. Lots yeah. of smells. I don't know. <laughs> I think there's a KFC in here somewhere. KFC. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Well, Young had everything there but the finish. You know, she's playing really well. She's handling the pressure when it comes. She's made some really good passes, not always been able to be caught by her teammates, being aggressive, looking to post up. Patterson guarding Asia Durr. Now Westbeld. A couple of bigs trying to stay with the quick guard. And Hines Allen just pulls her way to another offensive rebound.
Wimbawale cannot connect. Louisville seeing red right now. Jones. Take a breath. Lead up to 23. Great matchup on NBA Friday. Warriors got, got to take it to them without Curry and Thompson in the lineup last night. But they get to take on the Greek Freak. 8 Eastern on Friday. And then the Rockets and the Suns got a little chippy between Chris Paul and Damian Lillard last night. A good storylines tomorrow night on our NBA doubleheader. Can we give a shout out to Lou Williams for the 50, 50 piece? spot from 50 the man piece. himself, yes. Lou Williams. It's been a long time since he put up those type of uh, those types of numbers. He's having a great season. Last two possessions for Louisville. They were able to get out and transition, beat Notre Dame down the floor. I think mm -hmm. partly Agumbawale was tired. She's now out of the game. From up at McGraw said, too, Marina Mabry is the one who's conditioned every shot that goes up to get back. Her teammates aren't necessarily conditioned to do that in their brain. Last two times, it's resulted in transition the other way for Louisville. Mabry is out there with two fouls, trying to get back on defense. Durr pulls up. A spectacular first half from the number three team in the country. of Durr. Watched by Patterson. Plenty of space. This is silly. Are you kidding me? 39 points combined from Durr and Heinz Allen. This might be the best half of basketball an undefeated team has played all season. What a first 20 from Louisville. In and out from Avery. Durham. Spearheaded a 56 point effort from the Louisville Cardinals. 39 between Durr and Heinz Allen. Louisville doubling up on the Irish. It's time for the Alpha Romeo Halftime Report. Maria, Andy, and Nell. Back in Louisville, Asia Durr and Maisha Heinz Allen, 39 combined. All right, now Heinz Allen just taking care of business inside, holding down the fort, three offensive boards, so efficient, 9 of 11 in that first half. Yeah, we told you she was dirty, and that's what she was in the first 20 minutes. Asia Durr, one of the best guards in the country, smooth shooting stroke, and wow, we what a performance by Louisville offensively in the first half. Incredible. Incredible stuff. Adam, Lobo, Lawson, if you're in that Notre Dame huddle, what do you need to hear from Muffin McGraw to get back in this thing? Settle down. Calm down. Calm down. Just try and get one stop. Try and get one stop, build some momentum for yourself on the defensive end. You not only need to hear that from Muffet, you need to see it from Green or Mabry. You, see, you need to see a good presence from her as she takes charge of the point guard position again. Our Thursday night showcase, the ACC on ESPN. Louisville, one of four unbeaten teams remaining in the country. Notre Dame's lone loss came to the number one ranked UConn Huskies in December. Excellent matchup, but it was all Louisville in the first half. Mabry, good start. Fresh legs come out of the half. A good time for her to look for her offense. Keep that phrase in mind, fresh legs, if Notre Dame wants to make a comeback. Remember, they are down to just seven scholarship players after a myriad of injuries going all the way back to last year's NCAA tournament. 21 for Heinz Allen. This would be a significant win for the Louisville Cardinals. 
They have not beaten a top five team at home in program history. 0-10 all time. Eight of those losses have come under Jeff Walls. I'll say this, Jessica Shepard has done a really good job passing. That's six assists for her. Yeah, she leads the team. She leads the game in terms of assists. There's Durr. Well, oh, she's not shy, huh? Just a little bit of airspace. If you could shoot like that, would you be shy? Nope. <laughs> I wouldn't. Hand check here against Hines Allen. Notre Dame alternating the ball handlers in terms of bringing the ball up the floor. We see Mabry, Adunbawale, Young, not letting it take one player too much energy as you were talking about in the first half, Care to get it up. Beautiful fake handoff there by Shepard. Mabry, the inbounder, goes for the handoff and her defender bites on it and she gets a wide open layup. Nice read. I really like Shepard, a really smart, skilled post player. Oh. Friendly roll. I mean, uh, at what point, you know, maybe when she hits 30 points, are you going to decide to guard her on the turn and face in the mid-range? She's taken 13 shots. Yeah. She's made 11 of those 13 shots. Ogumbawale, well, the leading scorer in the ACC, just three points in the first half on one of six shooting. And Mabry just lost it. During the catch and score. <laughs> Sam Fiorin has been really, really solid in this game. On a defensive end, she gets out in transition, runs the floor. That felt a little bit forced from our angle. Jeff Wall's got a timeout from the bench. We'll take it with him. Did you see a good ball? Thursday night showcase getting going and it only gets better. This one was a classic last year. Tennessee and Notre Dame down to the buzzer. That'll be next Thursday. Two weeks from tonight, we're down in Waco for a big 12 battle between Texas and Baylor. And I don't need to sell you on the dynasty against the defending champs. UConn and South Carolina opening up February. We're going to have some fun these next few weeks. Good barometers, good tests for some of the best teams in the nation coming up. And we'll be a part of your Thursday nights. Asia Durr having a big night tonight. Notre Dame goes back to his own to try to take away Heinz Allen. And then the corner three is open for Durr. Tough take by Young. Mabry gets a three and knocks it down. Guys, we saw Louisville early in the season in Columbus in that great game against Ohio State. It seems like all the tools are there for a team that's been to the Final Four under Jeff Walls. They've been a national runner-up. But this team, it feels like all the tools necessary to make a run, to go after a South Carolina, to go after a Connecticut, it seems like those tools are in place. Well, I remember the two previous Final Four appearance, appearances for Jeff Walsh in 2009 and in 2013. Yep. And in 2009, they had a program-changing player in Angel McCutcher that led them to the Final Four. In 2013, they had one in Shoney Schimmel. They have one in Asia Durr as well. To me, that's the defining moment. That's what helps you in this game to be able to get to the Final Four. As players like that as Asia Durr hits another three. You have perimeter players that can take over games. That's what makes your money in March. That's what allows for deep runs is players and guards that can make plays. And Asia Durr, man, she sure can. This is Notre Dame's fifth season in the ACC. They've lost two conference games. North Carolina State a year ago, and a loss to Miami in the 14-15 season. That's it. 
in four plus seasons in the ACC. Two losses. And that speaks to the quality of the program that Muffin McGraw runs, how dominant they've been in this conference. But today is a new day Oof. in Louisville, Kentucky. And it looks like there's a new queen of the ACC in waiting. The winner of this game was going to have sole possession of the top spot in the ACC. And second effort by Notre Dame yeah. there. Virginia is not in action tonight, so they're going to stick at 4-0. and Louisville and Notre Dame each entered 4-0 and in conference play tonight, so... Assuming this score holds, this will be Louisville sitting atop the ACC by themselves. They were picked second in the preseason poll behind Notre Dame. That's a really nice entry by Mabry. Foul call. It's a Notre Dame team that normally can make a living at the free throw line, too. Average over 20 attempts per game. They yep. haven't been able to get there at all tonight. Shepard knows how to use her body, get the defender behind her. Shell shocked. I mean, I think they were shell shocked from the beginning. Yeah. I and mean, Louisville came out with such force and such a high degree of shot making. Notre Dame never could really recover. I mean, they were playing behind from the get go. There's still 14 minutes left in the game, yeah. but I mean, it just, you, you don't know with the lack of depth and with the energy that, that Notre Dame has expended. This type of deficit seems, seems insurmountable. Now again, a couple of those injuries come early. Obviously, the Turner injury comes last year in the tournament. The Michael Johnson injury comes before the season begins. So you go, all right, well, at least we have an idea of what and who we have. Then you lose Michaela Vaughn only six games into the season, so you have to completely recalibrate it for Muffet McGraw. Now you're thinking, all right, we're still playing well, only one loss. And then you lose Lily Thompson. So the, not, it's not just the injuries that they're dealing with, but the times that they have come at, at various points when maybe some of these players feel like, all right, I have some chemistry. I have a little bit of a feel of how this is going to go. That has really affected this team, too. And remember, this is only their third game without Lily Thompson. Uh, it's impacted. There, there, there's no question. Uh, but... You know, I kind of look at this in both ways, Adam. I mean, come on, they're not the little sisters of the poor. Oh, no, I mean, they got talented kids, right? Absolutely. I mean, would you rather have 10 average players or five really good players? Like, to me, I'd rather have five really good players, and they have five really good players. So is it going to challenge them mentally, and are they going to have to be smart and, and take care of their bodies and not get in foul trouble? All of those things, but they're not down 31 because they've had some ACLs. This is just a forceful Louisville performance tonight. Turnover here. The hustle that Louisville has played with from step one of this game has been something else. And make no mistake, this is one of the biggest games that Jeff Walls has coached in this arena. They've never beaten a top five team at home. Notre Dame was coming in, granted with the injuries, but still sitting at number two in the country. And Louisville right now looks like the second best team in the country. They've never been ranked higher than the number three ranking that sits next to their name right now. So assuming they don't slip up the rest of the way, and it's hard to imagine that they would at this point, they'll likely be the number two team. Perhaps maybe the number one team when you size up their resume against UConn. So that'll be an interesting discussion. And a great matchup in February. We'll be there for it on a Monday night. Evans off target. Kind of a foul there. Spelled. Not able to connect. And I think you make a great point, Kara. Forget about the injuries. There will be no asterisk next to this win no. for Jeff Walls in Louisville. This is going to be a 
almost a cathartic win, I would think, for a program like Louisville who's been trying to get over the hump against a team like Notre Dame. Yeah, I think, I think you look at the talent on Notre Dame's team and they're still a capable team. They're still a team that has a, a, the ability to get to the Final Four. They're still a team that shouldn't be down 29 points uh, in this game right now, in the sense that they have the ability to play well offensively. They need to improve defensively, but the ability is in them. So uh, we tell the injuries to tell the story of the team, right? We're telling the story of the team, but that doesn't mean we have to feel sorry for what they have on their roster. They have a ton of good players. They have a ton of good players on this roster. They just don't have as many available as they thought they were. And they will still compete for the ACC championship yeah. this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care about five players healthy. This is embarrassing. Yeah. All right? This is embarrassing. The best player for Notre Dame and the leading scorer in the ACC has been held in check tonight. Kylie Shook with another block. Young continuing to attack, trying to get to the free throw line. You know what, though? I mean, Notre Dame is a fighting team that they're still playing hard. They might not be playing all that smart, but they are still playing hard. Durr. Yep. It is just one of those nights where everything is going well for the home team. Playing lights out. And it feels like nothing's going right for Notre Dame tonight. Chuck, making this place shake. The night belongs to you, Louisville, Kentucky. Jackie Young finishes. A big Saturday doubleheader coming up. Again, road teams that are ranked. Kentucky heads to Nashville. Bryce Drew's team struggling a bit to start the SEC campaign, but John Calipari's crew comes into town. And then North Carolina and Notre Dame in prime time Saturday night. Tar Heels are ranked. Irish have been doing it without Bonzi Colson. Lead up to 35 again. And Kylie Shook off the bench with another block. <laughs> One thing I really like about this Louisville team is the players who know their roles and what they can do to fill them. And for Kylie Shook, that's to come in off the bench, yep. block some shots. Sam Fearing, it's to play hard and run. And on a night like tonight when your two big guns are going off, the other players have seamlessly just done the little things that they do well. I, th I do feel like it goes back to the point that you guys are making. The tools are, are in place. You've got two very capable scorers at different levels of the offense. You've got very good defense, very quick players, and you've got everybody else filling a defensive role, a passing role, a rebounding role. It really does feel like the tools are in place for a deep run. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know. Have you what been I, watching what, the last what, 20 minutes? What, 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 uh, listen, guys, I, I hope you realize on Thursday nights, okay. I'm going to really bring the hot takes okay. as right. often as possible. <laughs> what, a, what a strange thing I know to say an 18-0 team has tools to go to the national championship or something like that. I know that's a really weird thing to say in college basketball. But no, you're right. The team we're watching tonight without question has the tools to play for a championship, whether that's an ACC championship or an NCAA championship. 
just a matter of how many nights are they going to shoot like this? Sure. But they clearly have the ability to do it. But and, and I think that goes back to that point, too. They can win, it feels like, different types of games yeah. based on what we're seeing tonight as well. More good defense. Erica Carter forcing Young to the sideline. 15 Notre Dame turnovers. The 62-year-old Hall of Famer is going to have a lot of questions after this night tonight. Asia Durr. <laughs> you bet. Don't know if there is such a thing as a third quarter dagger, but that is a knife in the heart of the number two team in the country. The last time the Louisville Cardinals beat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, you have to go back to February of 2009 on a night where Angel McCautry put home a near triple double at 20. 11 and 8 steals that night. That's the type of effort it took to beat Muffet McGraw's team that evening. We've seen a similar type of effort tonight from Asia Durr and Maisha Hines Allen. Two teams met in the ACC tournament semis last year. on 16 attempts tonight. My goodness. That kind of night. That kind of night for Louisville on the offensive end. Carter hits her second. Great decision by Hines Allen to pass it out when she saw the D help coming too. Yeah, I mean, you were talking about Louisville and their ability to, to make a deep run, and a lot of that is because of the support pieces and yeah. improved. I mean, Carter's one of them. I mean, here's a kid that hit a total of 16 threes her first two years at Louisville. She has 19 on the season already. When you play those elite teams, they take away your best players at times, and your support players have to be able to knock down shots. Particularly helpful if they can knock down threes, and Louisville has a number of players on their roster that can knock down the three-point shot. Only try 16 three-pointers per game. They make about six of them per game. That's the Louisville offense. Oh, got a little aggressive between Furing and Ogumbawale underneath the rim. Let's see if the officials go to the monitor here. I thought there was just players who were being uh, physical yeah, and who lost right. balance. I didn't think there was any kind of foul, not even a common foul in that situation. Yeah, it didn't seem like it. Well, Dick Handner and Tierra Cruz are underneath, or uh, at the uh, monitor, rather. No, I, I, I thought you were right, Lobo. It just looked like they were... If Colliding anything, more than anything else. And if anything, Carter kind of pushed the Gumbawale to get off her, and that caused the contact into Furing, but I wouldn't call any kind of a foul there. No, I think that's that's a fine no call. It's probably our best look at it. Yeah, they certainly did get they're caught up with up. one yeah, another. They're tangled. Yeah, they're, they're locked they're, up, and then you see Carter come in here, but she's kind of just trying to gain her balance. Yeah, I didn't think she was trying to push no, or anything like no. that, just kind of holding herself up with her teammate and an opponent. Tara Cruz, nice enough to come over. They looked to see if there was anything potentially unsportsmanlike, and the officials saw what we saw, nothing. There. Nothing dirty. <laughs> oh, there's been a lot of dirty. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Here she is. There's Heinz Affleck. Oh, my goodness! Dexterity, agility. Her face-up game has been on point. Her post-game, whether it's making the move or passing out when she gets doubled, has been on point. Foul on 
Evans. Look at the 6'2 senior from Montclair, New Jersey. Here. Patience goes middle, the double comes, spins back baseline. She has great balance when she catches it inside. Great pace to her post game as well. 29 points for Maisha Hines Allen. She's already rocketed it into the top five in scoring in Louisville history tonight with her performance. Offensive foul called here. Tag Shepard with it. Hines Allen passed up both Monique Reed and Kristen Maddox tonight on the all-time Louisville scoring list this evening. And on top of that, another double-double. The 36th of the career of Heinz Allen, a player that led the ACC a year ago with 17 of them. During an offensive rebound. Offensive rebound, the space created by Asia Durr, and the secondary pass by Fearing. That was all really well done. That's that's Fearing at her best. I yeah. think you can watch that possession and you can see why she's such an integral part to this team. The offensive rebound was by Fearing. The ability to understand and make that that extra pass to a place that Maisha Ma 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 Hines Allen could finish. The recovery by Hines Allen there. Well, when we finish up with Clemson, North Carolina State on ESPN tonight, LeBron tries to bounce back after an awful game the other night in the midway point of the NBA season. So we'll take a look back at the top ten plays of the first half and a report from Foxborough as Tom Brady prepares for the playoffs. All coming up on Sports Center tonight after North Carolina State and 19th-ranked Clemson. 31 and 12, along with three assists for Maisha Hines Allen tonight. And 31 ties her career high that she had against Virginia last year. Nothing is more helpful to a skilled post player than a guard who can really score and take yeah. the defensive attention. You put them on the same side of the floor, how do you help off? Give your post player a little bit of extra time. I know it's not as helpful for the guard to have the post, but it's helpful for the post to have the guard. And how often do we see it? Championship teams at any level, any type of one two punch. And on nights like tonight, when both of them are rolling, this is the type of game that you're likely to see at any level of basketball. Kind of like over here. I need Kara more than she needs me, but I'm all right with that. Oh, no. I'm all right with that. And like a good coach, I need the both of you yeah. to step, step your game up to carry me to the finish line. Oh, that's scary. You're our coach. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just oh, here. To, I'm just here. I'm just here for pep talks and uh, and to schedule lunch. Really, that's all I'm here for. I hope you guys realize You're that. You're the director of ops. <laughs> I think I might be lower than the equipment manager. Actually. I'm not even the assistant equipment manager. I think the, I'm the assistant to the, the equipment. There manager. you go. Defense by Shepard. Evans got a good look either way. The Louisville players still have a lot of bounce in their step, don't they? I mean, I, I know you do when you're playing this well and all that, but they're still going after loose balls. They're playing hard. They came at the Irish with a vengeance tonight. Good night for Jessica Shepard, a dozen. Right now, their second leading scorer on overall. On offense, good night for Shepard. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Hines Allen's points came with Shepard guarding around the perimeter. That's a fair point. Yeah, how tough of an assignment is that, too, when Hines Allen was shooting as well as she was from mid-range? 
Oh, and Adrian Durr is making shots from everywhere. With a hand right in her face. Louisville's almost at 100. We still have five minutes to play. It's the number two team in the country in Notre Dame that Louisville is doing this to. Both of these two teams are going to be in the hunt for a number one seed as we ride closer and closer to March. Three of the four remaining unbeaten teams are in position. As of right now, it's still plenty of ball to play. But the separation tonight, very apparent between Louisville and Notre Dame. The last time Louisville had two players score 20 in a game. Durr and Heinz Allen did it in the ACC tournament against Notre Dame. They've won up to tonight. Each of them has scored 30 plus, 36 for Durr, and a career high tying 31 for Heinz Allen. All part of what has been one of the more impressive performances by any team in college basketball this season. Nice and easy, 66% from the floor for the Louisville Cardinals tonight. Yeah, what did we say at the start of the half? They're not going to keep shooting this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did. I also said it was going to be a good one about four minutes in, so you're not alone, pal. Mabry, good take. Older sister, Michaela. Now an assistant, by the way, at Miami, Ohio. Wale with the steal. Beautiful feed. Carter to Fearing. Creeping closer and closer to the century mark. I hope they get like free KFC or something if they hit 100. I think that'd be the an obvious idea. choice. Well, that's a good idea. You're hoping mark, you get mark, free that, KFC. If they, if that's they that's what. See, you read between the lines there. So, okay. Sharp. That's a sharp one. <laughs> Three minutes to play in what has been a dominant Louisville Cardinal performance tonight. Oh, Mabry just looks so gassed right now. Jeff Wallace has the fans trained very well. Like, they all make the same gestures as he does when he's mad at the ref. It's, it's, it's really insane to watch. Uh, Maria, Andy, and Nell were talking about this in the studio. I wanted to give a shout out real quick to Louisville native Seal Barry. Her 93-year-old mom Adele was watching tonight. The whole family was watching tonight. Just wanted to give them a shout out. Congratulations to the 2018 finalists in the Hall of Fame class. Lobo, let's start with you. You're the new Hall of Famer. Oh, of course, I'm looking at Chris Daly. She's been along the side of Gino Oriama the entire time he's been at Connecticut. What that program has done would not have been able to be accomplished without her presence on that staff. So I certainly expect her to get in this year. Uh, much the same could be said about Mickey DeMoss, one of my assistant coaches sure. at the University of Tennessee under Pat Summit, and Hall of Fame cook as well. Many a night, I, <laughs> I've eaten chicken tetrazzini at Mickey, little, Mickey's little house. In, little inside info you can't get anywhere yeah. else. <laughs> the gumbo's pretty good, too. Has she learned how to cook vegan? No, I'm not allowed at her house anymore. <laughs> <I'm looking> at <laughs> so. Yeah.
out to Dunham in the game. This is Sidney Zimbrata. Nice pass. Oof, nice play by Young. Timeout. Louisville's going to take it. And you see Jeff Wall still coaching. And after Bianca Dunham there for a couple of lackluster plays. So let's kind of put a bow on the night because I think a lot of people were expecting a much tighter game. Two versus three, top of the ACC. Ogumba Wale gets held in check. Durr and Heinz Allen go off and Louisville rolls to maybe their most impressive win of the year. I mean, the, the, the play of Durr and Heinz Allen has been ridiculous offensively. Defensively, Louisville did a great job stymieing Notre Dame, not letting them get out in any kind of transition. Gave Mabry problems yep. all night. And this is a Louisville team. This is the best they've played this season. They were, have been spectacular so far. In a game that is the most pivotal game in the ACC calendar, in the sense that this is the only time these two play. That's right. So it's almost like a two-game win, right? If you win this game, you can have a tiebreaker. And Louisville plays their best game of the season, the biggest game to this point. First time in 19 seasons. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish have a lot of 100 points. How about that? 19 Almost years. Almost two decades. Incredible. Ogumba Wale tonight with just five points. Yeah, that looks says it all, doesn't it? Yep. And, and the thing about it is, is there are good pieces here. And Notre Dame's a good team. They're gonna Absolutely. they're going to continue on and have a great season. And and I've seen some things that even from Mabry that have a, that I say okay, this this can work. She can play the point guard position. This can work. Uh, but they're going to have to figure it out, and it's going to come down, I, I think, to their discipline and their focus on the defensive end. Because if they don't guard, it's it's going to be an issue against these top teams. And you know, they've been trying to rely on zone because of their short bench. Well, Bill will destroy that right away because yeah. Durr, you can't play a zone against her. And then they were able to, to take advantage of Jessica Shepard defensively and Heinz Allen going on. Yep. So this also was a tough matchup at this was, point of the season for the Notre thing, Dame yep. and their personnel. It's a really bad matchup for where the Irish are right now defensively. Oh, and anytime you get throttled like this, it's a blueprint to everybody else in the conference yeah, to say, hey, you know what? We're going to extend pressure on Mabry. We're going to sit on her right hand, which is what Louisville did. We're going to make Jess Shepard guard in isolation situations, particularly away from the basket. So these are things that are going to have to get rectified because people are going to try and recreate it. One Big ovation was for Jessica Lemley, Louisville native out of Mercy Academy, getting some time. And, and, and you know, part of that, Adam, is you might say, well, I don't know if anyone's going to be able to recreate this because this was sure. a storm, right? Yeah, this and is so, a perfect night yes. for Louisville and an awful night for Notre Dame. Not, and not everybody has a player like Asia Dorr sure. on their roster. Not everybody has a player like Maisha Hines out. So I get that. But the point being is these issues are going to remain, and they're, Notre Dame's going to continue to be challenged. They're just going to have to show improvement in some of these areas. Offensive foul on Evans. And... Rebecca said it earlier, too. Let's not make any bones about it. Muffin McGraw would tell you the same thing. They're not a great defensive team in general. They weren't a great defensive team before the injuries. Right. That was going to have to be a problem that was rectified yep. no matter what if they want to make a deep run. And I don't think we're telling any tales out of school here. No. Muffin knows that. No, and, and, and we showed this on our coverage of, with all the Thursday night games that we have. One week from tonight, we're in South Bend. Yep. And the Tennessee Lady Vols come to town. That's right. So we're going to be able to see ourselves within a week where they, they grow. Yeah, yeah. How they grow. Exactly. Notre, Notre Dame does have Boston College on Sunday, mm -hmm. so they'll get a little bit of a tune-up for another big non-conference game. The last time the Louisville Cardinals beat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, 2009. A historic victory for Jeff Walls, their first win over a top-five team at home in program history.
And it comes in dominant fashion over the Irish tonight. Thirty-six for Durr, and loss number two for Muffet McGraw on this season's docket. First time in 12 tries that the Louisville Cardinals beat the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Well, they should be excited. And what a crowd tonight in Louisville. I mean, they were incredible. 12,614 here tonight. And Jeff Walls is addressing the crowd now. I'm challenging y'all. If this isn't how our home games are for the rest of the year, I don't know what to tell you, because you've got a special group of young women out here that are awfully fun to watch. So I greatly appreciate it. I hope next Sunday when we're back in here against Florida State, who's top 10, that we've got the uppers open because it's going to be a heck of a ball game. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A fine message from Jeff Walls. We send it over to Rebecca Lobo. Asia, the first time since 2009 that Louisville has beaten Notre Dame. What does this win mean for you? This win is huge. Uh, we all came out so excited to play. My teammates, I mean, we laid it all out there on the floor, man. I mean, it was a great game. The fans were great in here. Maisha had a big time game. I mean, we all played great as a team. I'm just so thankful. There were times offensively, you know, the whole game, it looked easy for you. Why were you able to be so effective and efficient? My teammates, they always do a great job of uh, finding me on the court. Coach Walls caught some great plays as well. I mean, we play hard, we cut hard, and when you play hard, great things take place. All right, Asia, thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Maisha, for you, the senior, your last chance to beat Notre Dame in the regular season, what is this like for you to get this victory? Really big. Um, we knew we could do it. Our, Coach Norman had a great scout for us. We were all prepared, so we knew we could do it if we stayed with the game plan and played hard for 40 minutes. Such a great inside-outside attack with you and Asia today. How much does it help you when she's performing like she did tonight? Asia performs like that every night, so I mean, um, it's a blessing to play with her. I'm happy that she came to this school and I was able to play with her. She's a great player and she finds her teammates too, so that's one of the things I love most about her. What is the thing that you can take from this victory that's going to help propel you for the rest of the season? Fight hard. Play hard for 40 minutes. Stick with the game plan and, and trust your coaches and trust each other. All right, thank you so thank much. You. Adam. 36 from Durr, 31 from Hines Allen, a 5-0 ACC record for Louisville. They're at the top of the conference, and they're on top of the world right now. For Carol Lawson and Rebecca Lobo, Adam Amin sings so long. Maria, it's all yours.